What's up everybody, I'm Destroyers and welcome to the video. Today's video is going to be my personal top 5 best places to quest on Panjira. Again, it's just my personal list, it doesn't make it facts. If you're an experienced player and you don't agree, let me know where you've had the best experiences questing in. Um, but if you're new, I hope you find this list useful. Um, these are some of the places I've had like the best like the absolute best experiences questing in and I've grown a lot of dinos I think I've grown about 22 23 dinos at this point um, so I've just learned a few a uh, few things about growing them so again I hope you find this list useful and let's get into it <laughs> Alrighty, and number five on my list has got to be Crater Pond. And the reason I say Crater Pond is because Crater Pond will every once in a while have players out here. And a lot of times because of this stick and the uh, 200 marks you get off that, every once in a while you're going to get attacked at this particular location. But usually about half the time it's chill like it is right now. And it's an incredibly good place to quest. Um, so if you're younger, I definitely uh, recommend this place. Alrighty, and that brings us to number four, which has got to be World's Edge Fall. Um, not a whole lot of quests out here, but usually you get a flower quest out here, and there's usually not a whole lot of people. Every once in a while, you're going to encounter a group out here, but uh, but for the most part, um, it's usually pretty clear and. Uh, if you know if you can do the 25 flowers or I think you get like a hundred flowers quest for a group um, so it's it's pretty okay usually again not a whole lot of people out here so I would definitely recommend it uh, for a questing area if you're new and uh, trying to raise up a dino alrighty and number two on my list is gonna be two falls hollow two falls hollow you'll very rarely see players out here um, and a lot of times when you do, they're kind of questing. So um, if it's not a, if it's a group, I'd be worried. Uh, they might want to attack you if you start picking stuff up. But an individual, a lot of times, all they need is 50 acorns and 50 roots out here. Um, so a lot of times, players are going to be uninclined to attack you if they're singular and by themselves. So it's again, it's a fairly okay to, uh, place to quest. So I'd recommend it if you're new. And number two on my list is going to be Sinkhole. Uh, sinkhole is just a little uh, kind of candy wampus to three horn grasslands. It doesn't have a whole lot of questable stuff, but it does have acorns, a water source, um, and there's a spawnable carcass nearby. Um, so it's a pretty good place to quest. Um, if you're a carnivore or herbivore, there's also a couple of different berry bushes in this area as well. Um, but it's usually generally almost always a pretty quiet place and a definitely an easy place to stop by if you're grinding a new dino. And number one on my list is going to be Freehorn Grasslands. Freehorn Grasslands has some lake weed and poisonous death cat missions um, that are pretty good. Um, they're worth 200 apiece um, and it only takes you I don't know, maybe just a couple of minutes a piece to uh, get that done. And it gets you like 400 marks just for stopping by here. So it's definitely one of the best places to quest. Lots of food, lots of water. And a lot of times when you encounter other players, they're probably not going to be super inclined to want to attack you. Um, this is why this is one of my favorite places to stop by and grind or quest in. There's a random Anno there. Um, but as you say, uh, or as I say, it's like you see it there. A lot of players are going to be less likely to want to fight you out here. Um, so it's a great place to do some questing out here and get some extra marks and growth. Um, I hope you've enjoyed my list here. If you're an experienced player um, and you don't like my list, leave me your list in the comments below. But if you're a new player, I hope you find my list helpful. 
Thank you for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.